Let's talk psychedelics in Peru. Have you ever had an amazing meal that you wanted to experience again? Although that's an odd comparison to make, one of my first experiences with natural psychedelics was in Ecuador, where I got to try ayahuasca when I stayed with a shaman and his family for a few days. Flash forward a few years and here I am traveling through the desert in Mexico to find the psychedelic cacti, peyote. Here in Cusco, the cultural capital of Peru, I didn't expect to be able to find psychedelics so openly sold in the markets, but I was mistaken. I started reading about San Pedro, the psychedelic cacti that can be found in the markets of Cusco. But first, our adventure starts here in Greenpoint, probably one of the best vegetarian restaurants in all of Cusco. This is our entree, a salad. I got a kombucha right here, ginger and lemon. After eating, we make our way down to the markets here in Cusco to begin our search. Yo, it is packed, packed to the brim here. There are so many people here in the markets. Also, I kind of lost my voice. That's why I sound the way I do, but yeah. So we are now entering the market of San Pedro. Holy fuck. Yeah. It smells really bad here. Here in this market, also coincidentally called San Pedro, you can find just about any natural remedy or medicine. Peruvian hallucinogenics, natural Viagra, exotic animal meats, you can find all of that here. So the first vendor we approached ended up finding the, uh, oh, gracias. Y por, uh, ¿Para cuánta gente son estos? Para dos personas. Dos personas. Sí. ¿Es una dosis fuerte o mediana? Eh, yo todo esto lo preparé en una botella de agua mineral de, de medio litro. Sí. Y lo preparamos. Y se toma así. Se toma. Usted es lo... un alucinógeno, pero natural. No tiene sí, nada sí, de sí. química. Ah, pero... Es... Ok, para dos personas. Para dos personas. Y si quiere más cantidad, lo quiere usted llevar a su país, tengo también con aloe vera. ¿Qué okay. significa aloe vera? Como usted no puede llevar de acá del Perú en San Pedro, porque está prohibido. Sí. Lo empaquetamos con aloe vera. Con ah. una bolsa de... Haciendo pasar sábila, me estaría llevando la sábila, pero no está llevando sangre. ¿Y cuánto cuesta esto? Está 10 soles. 10 soles. ¿Y venden hojas de coca también? Sí, aquí está. Ok, gracias. Uh, ¿Cuántas son las hojas de coca? 5 soles. 5 soles, total 15. 15 soles. Okay, Tengo está chocolates bien. con coca también, si desea. Uh, ¿Cuántas hojas? Unas ocho hojitas para que sientas el efecto. Si vas a comer un hito dos, no vas a sentir nada. Eh, vas ocho. a masticar, masticar, muy bueno. Ok, ok, está bien, bien. gracias. Gracias. Gracias a usted. So, I ended up buying some dried ginger for five soles, which is like a little more than a dollar. Uh, but yeah, my throat is pretty fucked up right now, so I'm going to try to better than I normally do and I think ginger should probably do the trick as well what about you guys do any of you guys enjoy the use of psychedelics leave a comment below I'd love to hear about your experience